Welcome back to Google Guru. Today's video was brought to you by LTech. I'm here with Jason Etter, who is a colleague of mine, and we're both here today to show you how to use Google Hangouts on air. Jason will be demoing this, so take it away, Jason. Thanks, Rachel. Really appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm, we really have good timing here because there's actually a new interface with Hangouts on Air. So if we had done this just a couple of weeks prior to the uh, 2013 I.O., we would have to do it again anyway. So good timing. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do is share my screen and walk you through how to start a Hangout on Air. Here we are. We're now inside of Google+, Plus, where you start Hangouts, where you can start Hangout on Airs and events, all kinds of fun stuff like that, as you can see right here. So what you're going to need to do is just hover over the home button and this little slide deck appears. And what you're going to want to do is go to Hangouts on Air. So I click there and it's going to take me to all these different Hangouts on Airs that are currently live. So if I want to see this cool DJ doing his thing, if I want to see this cat having a staring contest, um, you know, and then of course other people have different live Hangouts as well that can be attended. Um, or, you know, some sponsored events by Chevy here. Uh, I can even do searches, all kinds of fun stuff. This is where I go to see these Hangouts. Now, in addition to that, if I want to start my own Hangout, I click right here, Start a Hangout on Air. And it's going to populate a new Hangout screen just like we are you know, with Rachel. So let me jump back and it'll look just like this. This is exactly what it looks like. But let me show you uh, what will happen before that. So let me just share my screen again. And so the first thing you're going to see is set up your Hangout on Air. And you do need to name it. It's something that is required. So you have to type in the name of the Hangout on Air and then add the people that you want to attend the Hangout on Air. Now why do I say that? The reason being is this is a live broadcast. So there's going to be a YouTube link that's automatically generated posted on your page or profile that people, anyone in the world can watch. But only you have the power to actually tell the people who can attend the event, like just like how Rachel and I are in our Hangout right now. You have full control of that. What you don't have control of is who can watch it. That's why it's a live broadcast, okay? So after you enter that information, this will go from grayed out to an actual grayed uh, to green right here, and I can click Start a Hangout on Air. And once that happens, it's going to look just like a regular Hangout. You can get all the features you're comfortable with with regular Google Hangouts. But here's the difference right here. You're, it's going to give you a URL and you can get the YouTube link ahead of time. Now, why is that valuable? If you're broadcasting about maybe a new product release or something of that nature, you can grab that URL and email all of your guests that are going to be attending the event and let them know, hey, check out this YouTube channel. You go to that YouTube channel and it'll actually say the Hangout it will start briefly. And once you go live, it'll actually start streaming live as well. Also, be, take note that it does say preparing broadcast 21% when I took this screenshot. What that means is it's making it available that the second the Hangout starts, people that are watching it live can actually rewind, fast forward, uh, not fast forward because it's live, they can actually rewind and you know see it instantly. And after it's done, you can publish it to your website just like we do. Here's our LTech.com, um, and we just recently had a Hangout with Remax. Um, and we post the YouTube link right here so I can click play and actually watch the Hangout on Air. As you can see, it says Hangouts Google Plus, and you'll actually be able to see here's this Hangout on Air, the live broadcast that we had, and I can go through it and I can fast forward and you know get to the different parts of uh, the Hangout, and it's really quite nice and a very effective way to talk about uh, your company, talk about products, things of that nature. So let's go back here. That's the last part, right? Right where it says start broadcast. You even if you have people in the hangout, just like Rachel and I are right now, it will not start live broadcasting until you click that button. And it gives you about 10 to 15 seconds and it'll actually count down until it is available. And at that point, that's when the live broadcast on YouTube and on your Google Plus profile or page will start. Okay? I hope that's uh, helpful.